I think Meghan and Harry both wanted to leave. I don't think you can make a decision like that without both members of a relationship being behind it, you know, 90%, even if they're not behind it 100%. Now, my understanding and from what I've heard from sources is that Meghan was incredibly keen to find a little bit more freedom, which explains the title of the biography, Finding Freedom. You know, moving into the royal family and living that lifestyle, I don't think anyone could ever truly prepare themselves for the lifestyle changes that you have to make when you become a member of the royal family. So when you couple Meghan's kind of discomfort with the restraints that were put on her when she became a royal, mixed with Harry's ongoing resentment and frustration with just how much his private life was put into the spotlight, I think it made for a perfect storm. And I think the two of them may well have had very different reasons for wanting to step back from the royal family and also move over here to the US. But I don't think for a second that Harry was the one driving the ship and Meghan was just along for the ride. I think the two of them came to the conclusion together. They really did mastermind a plan to make their move away so that it would be very clean and very efficient. And that's not something that you can do unless two people are both in it. It takes two to tango, as they say, and I think both of them were taking part in this dance. I think Prince Harry was a, ro a wonderful royal. I, I really do, and I think he was doing some truly remarkable work, particularly in the mental health space. Now, there's no saying that he won't continue to do that. I think he's made very clear that he wants to continue doing all of the charitable work that he was doing. But I think that the royal family really misses his presence and the energy that he brought. However, I think he really is enjoying the opportunity to kind of find his feet outside of that really rigorous structure that he spent the majority of his life in. I think that, you know, it's gonna take a few years, in my opinion, for the two of them to really settle into this new life that they're creating for themselves. It's a huge culture shock. Harry, you know, speaking as someone who's moved from the UK to the US, it's not that easy to just dive into a new life. You miss your friends, you miss your family. And I think that what a lot of people have forgotten is that Prince Harry has left his family. And when he stepped away from life as a senior member of the royal family, he was stepping away from his closest relatives and that cannot be easy. But I think he's committed to this life. I think he's committed to Meghan. And most importantly, he's committed to being a wonderful father to his son, Archie. And in his mind, the best way he can bring Archie up is away from the glare of the scrutiny that surrounds the royal family. So we got like the LAPD confirmed that there were there were drone violations. It didn't say you know what it was or who, who they right. were violating. Generally, is it more difficult for paparazzi in the United States or than it is in England? We always hear that England is horrible in terms of paparazzi, but it seems pretty bad here. I think when you're in the UK. It's a much smaller place in general, so there are far fewer places where people can be papped. So I think that may lead to the kind of conceived notion that the paparazzi are worse there. Now, the rules in the UK surrounding paparazzi are actually much stricter. And when you are a member of the royal family, you get the protection that being a member of the royal family affords you, certainly in the UK. So. There is, in the UK and also further afield, a group of reporters who are given exclusive access to the royal family. They are royal correspondents for all kinds of publications, and they get great access to the royal family. They get to go to different engagements with the royals. They go on tour with the royals. They get images of the royals. If you put a foot out of line, if your publication you know, posts images that the royal family hasn't approved of, or that you know have been taken under terrible circumstances, you can be cut off. Your royal correspondent career could end then and there. So I think that there is a kind of understanding between royal reporters and between the royal family about what's acceptable, where you can push the boundaries, when you can ask those really kind of intense questions. But there is some give and take. Now, now that Harry and Meghan have stepped outside of the royal family, they aren't afforded that protection anymore. And I think it's important to note that when it came to the Tatler piece, the palace was making a statement on behalf of Kate Middleton. It was not speaking out in protection or in defense of Meghan Markle. 
she is no longer a member of the royal family and as such her and Prince Harry are not really afforded the same protections and the same kind of guard that they might once have been. So I know Prince Harry and Meghan took a step away from the royal family in part because they wanted to avoid paparazzi scrutiny, but I really do think that it will actually just be worse now than it ever was when they were living in London. So we understand that they are actually relying on security guards who work for Tyler Perry. Now, obviously they're currently working, sorry, they're currently living in Tyler Perry's mansion in Beverly Hills. We do understand that they plan to pay for their protection 100% themselves. When it comes down to it, they will not request for any government to cover that cost and they plan not to have to ask Prince Charles to cover any of those costs. But right now they're very much living kind of a fairly easy life and kind of trusting the generosity of Tyler Perry, who has been kind enough to lend him that, lend them his house, whether or not they're paying for it remains unclear. But we do know that they are using his personal security guards for the time being until they kind of work out exactly where they want to live and where they want to be in their life moving forward.